Okay, let's get the Rodecaster Pro set up for multi-track recording. You want to go to the main menu, hitting the cog in the corner, select the hardware button menu, then we select advanced tab, and then we can see a multi-channel recording, and then want to toggle the USB slider to on to put it into USB mode. Please disconnect and reconnect your USB cable for the setting to take effect. Click OK, unplug the USB cable and replug it in your computer. If you've got Cubase open, close Cubase and restart Cubase. To record into Cubase with the road effects on, leave this slider to the left. Put it to the right if you wish to bypass the audio processing. Next we look at installing the ASIO driver. Open up your web browser, navigate to www.asioforall.org and download the version 2.14. Unzip this file and install it into your computer. Now ASIO for All is downloaded and installed, let's look at setting it up inside Cubase. We can click on the Studio tab. Prior versions to Cubase 10 would call this the Device Setup menu. Click on Studio or Device Setup. Select VST Audio System in the left hand pane. Under the ASIO driver box, select ASIO for All and click Switch. Click on ASIO for All in the left hand side pane. Click on Control Panel. This opens up the ASIO for All interface. On the left hand side we now see Rodecaster Pro Stereo and Rodecaster Pro Multi-Channel. We want to enable the Rodecaster Pro Stereo and we're only using the output channels on the stereo mix. We can turn off the input. Disable any internal sound card that may be selected and select the Rodecaster Pro Multi-Channel drivers as well. Close this down. And now we can see in Cubase we have 14 input channels and a pair of stereo or two mono left and right stereo channels. Okay, now the ASIO driver is set up within Cubase. Let's set up some inputs and outputs uh, for the routing in Cubase. So we can go to the Studio tab, Device tab, Audio Connections and we're presented with our input and output tabs. So what we need to do is assign inputs for all the inputs with, within the Rodecaster Pro. The way it's set up is the uh, stereo mix. There's a stereo mix that comes off the Rodecaster Pro into Cubase on channels one and two. And that's just basically a mix of every input that's uh, in the unit coming out into Cubase. Um, I don't know why they want to give you a stereo mix as well as all the multi-channel inputs, but that's the way it's set up. And that's input one and two. So by default, Cubase usually just sets up a stereo input here. Um, and it's set to inputs one and two. So we can call that if we wanted to, we can rename it. We can call that uh, full mix input. And that's so generally I don't use that input um, because um, I'm generally just want to record the, uh, the single channels and then mix it all uh, post recording. Um, we've got four mic inputs on the Rodecaster Pro. So I'm going to add four mono mic channels. Go add bus, set it to mono, four inputs. I'll name the mic and it'll sequentially just name them one to four. Okay, so we've got our four mic channels and it's numbered in three, four, five, and six as far as the inputs into Cubase. Um, so a little bit confusing initially, but it, mic input one is actually input channel three into Cubase. Uh, because the stereo mix has taken up one and two. Um, so after the mics, we've got the playback stereo channel off the computer, which is also seen as another pair of inputs. Uh, we've got the 3.5 input 
on the rear of the unit, which comes up on a fader on the top of the unit. Uh, we've got the Bluetooth stereo input, and then we've got the sample pad. So if we wanted to do the full complement of inputs, we can add another four stereo uh, input channels. Okay, and then it just, just sequentially numbered them up to inputs 14. So there's our 14 inputs. And we could go in and name these if we wanted to, uh, which we could, it could be um, door return. Number two is our... 3.5 in. It's a Bluetooth. And our sample pads. Okay, so there's our complement of inputs into the into Cubase from the Rocaster Pro hardware. Output tab. Now output tab just defaults to stereo out, which is just our essentially our stereo mix. Uh, so that's setting up the inputs and the outputs. And next we'll look at uh, setting up the audio tracks in the arrangement view. Once we've got our audio connection set up, we can now start adding some tracks into our arrangement. So we need to add a single stereo input for our full mix. If you wish to, you, you don't have to actually add a full mix if you're not going to record the full mix and you just want to record the individual single channels. But this will be just the full complement of inputs coming from the hardware. We want to add four mono mics. And we want to add four stereo channels. Okay, so there are our, our tracks there. Um, we can name the last four stereos because it'll be it'll be door return. Our three point five in. Our Bluetooth. And our samples. And now we make sure the assignments are okay. So mic one is coming in on mic one, mic two is coming in on mic two, so on and so forth with the mic inputs. And then the same with the stereo inputs. Door return, 3.5, Bluetooth, and the samples. Okay, so that's our setup of the inputs and the routing is to them, so that should be all good. And what we can do now is actually save that as a template. So we wish to save that as a template so we can open that up every time we want to use this um, arrangement of tracks. We can go to File, Save as a Template. And we can call it Roadcaster Pro Full Multi Input. Save that. And if we wanted to have a few different types of um, templates set up, for example, if we just wanted to have one where we only had four mics, for example, we could delete those tracks and then we've got our four mics assigned there and save that as another template. Cast Pro for mic input. Anyway, you get the idea. You can just Start with your main template and then you can cull tracks out of it and save it as different templates so you can open up different sessions and different recording scenarios. Now we're set up to do multi-track podcast recording from the Rodecaster Pro. We select the first track, hold down shift to select the last track. This puts all the channels in record mode and press play and we can drop it into record. We're now recording our podcast in multi-track.